Hello everybody and welcome to or welcome back to my channel. My name is Allie and this is DCG Beauty. So today is another project pan day and I decided I would do the intro for my Partners in Cream project pan. This is a project pan that was started by Steph and Delenn here on YouTube and I will link their channels as well as their Instagrams down below. And I reached out to Steph because I am really behind. The introductions were typically supposed to be in January, but because I am fellow, fell, I am, I am new to YouTube, I asked her if it was okay if I started now and just updated for the rest of the year. She said it was okay, so I'm just going to go ahead and do my introduction in the month of June. So the Partners in Cream is a cream or liquid based project so it is cream and liquid items in your makeup collection or cosmetic collection so it could be a perfume it could be a lotion a foundation a concealer it could be a super shock shadow from ColourPop, a lipstick a lip gloss anything along those lines that are cream or liquid or yeah cream or liquid so nothing powder basically so it is three to five products and I'm actually going to break the rules just a little bit. I'm going to start off with six because one of my products will be done fairly quickly. So I just kind of want to get it out of my collection as soon as possible because it's not something I'm going to repurchase. So I feel the Partners in Cream Project Pan will be the best way for me to use it up fairly quickly. So that way it's, it's just done. It's out of my collection. It's done. So... The six products that I'm going to start off with, I do, I've already picked out. Um, this is going to be rolling, but instead of using the Pretty Random app, I'm actually just going to select the products myself for the Partners in Cream project. I, I'm just going to start pulling things through my collection that I kind of want to either just get out of my collection or I need more use out of, but I just have no desire to really... I have nothing I really need to get done. It's just something I kind of want to do. I really enjoyed starting to do project panning and I love finding new things in my collection and through project panning has actually made it a lot more fun. So my first product is going to be a concealer. This is the ColourPop No Filter Concealer. And I have the shade Fair 04. Now I do have a pretty decent settlement, I don't know if you can see that, but it has settled quite well. This is something I've had in my collection probably since the beginning of the year, and it's not something I reach for, so I wanted to pull in a new concealer, something, because I'm not working on a concealer at all. Um, something that I don't reach for as often, but I kind of need to get out because as the summer months are rolling through, I am going to be getting tanner, so I want to kind of roll out some of these lighter concealer shades that I have. So my first product for this project pan is going to be this ColourPop concealer and my goal is to finish it. And if I don't finish it by the end of the year, we'll roll it out and maybe try something different next year. My next product is going to be a Super Shock Shadow and I'm pulling out the ColourPop Super Shock Shadow in the shade Falling Up. This is a beautiful pinkish colored almost like a champagne and it's 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 beautiful it is gorgeous not sure how well you can tell still working with lighting but it is this beautiful champagne shade so my goal for this is to hit pan I don't have any pan in this product yet so I would like to hit pan, and as soon as I hit pan, then I can roll it out. My next product is a mini lipstick, and it's from the brand Too Faced. I am not sure if I'm going to continue to buy from Too Faced. I do love Too Faced products, but I don't have a lot of Too Faced lip items. So this is a mini I got as like a birthday gift or something, I think. I'm not 100% positive, but it is just a little mini. It is this beautiful nudish color, and it's a mini. I don't have a lot left, but it's a mini, so I shouldn't have a lot left anyway. So my goal is to finish this as well. So product number three. 
My fourth product is going to be a mini MAC Fix Plus. I don't have a lot left. I'm about two thirds of the way done and this is the product I really do want to get out of my collection. I'm not sure if I'm ever going to repurchase the MAC product again. There's only one thing from MAC I truly enjoy and it is a blush. I'm just not a fan of MAC itself in general as a brand. And it's nothing wrong with the brand, I just, I don't enjoy their products. So I just want to get this finished and completed out of my collection. So I have been using it as a primer to prep my face. I've been using it as a setting spray. I've been using it to wet my brushes if I'm trying to go in with a shimmer shade. So I can use it fairly quickly when I use a lot of it. But I just, I'm, I'm ready for this to be out of my collection. This is probably a year old and I'm just, I'm done. I'm done using Max Fix Plus. My fifth product is going to be a liquid highlighter and it is from Wet n Wild in the Hello Halo in the Mega Glows and this is completely full. I think I've maybe used it once or twice and this is in the shade Halo Goodbye and it is beautiful. It's like almost got a pink, like a pink undertone. So it's similar to the ColourPop Super Shock Shadow. It's kind of got the same shade per se but I really want to use get some of this used up my goal is half I want to use this half um, or at least 40 times mm, no 45 times I want to at least get it used 40 times 45 times and this has a doe foot applicator so I'm just not sure how I feel I'm not a big fan of liquid highlighters so I figured this would be a good way to maybe get to know the product itself because I don't use it hardly ever and then my last product which is product number six kind of last product because that MAC one is kind of just a gimme my product number six is a lip gloss that I got from a friend um, and it is from Dominique Cosmetics it is from the Lemonade Connect collection and it is the lip gloss in peach tea and it is this really pretty pink gloss it's almost it's not opaque it's um, very sheer I actually am wearing the combination of the Too Faced lipstick sex on the peach and the Dominique Cosmetics sweet peach gloss on my lips today it is just I really enjoy the combo and I haven't really gotten a chance to dive into Dominique Cosmetics as a brand so I figured it would be a good thing to do to get to know this lip gloss because I've I've really only worn it twice and it's always the same combination with the lipstick and the lip gloss on top of it. So, those are going to be my six products for my introduction for the Partners in Cream Project Pan. If you enjoyed today's video, please give me a big thumbs up. If you want to see some more of me, please subscribe. And if you want to get notified for every time I do update, hit that ring, hit that, ring that notification bell to get notified when I do update. I do upload every Tuesday, Thursday, and Saturday, 10 a.m. Central Standard Time, and my updates for all of my project pans will be monthly. So I will see you again soon. Bye!